to a brand new series of Basil Swap Shop, everyone. It's back. This is the place where you can swap things you don't want for things that you do want. But before we go any further, I have to tell you something. Um, we're a man down. Well, well, I, I say man down. We're, um, we're a fox down. I know, it would appear the Christmas cold is affecting everybody and not even TV's very own Basil Brush is safe. He's not here. He's in bed. But we can go to his sick den to see how he is. Yeah! Hey! Yeah! Basil, how are you, my little fruit bat? Oh, I've been better, Mr. Barney. This bristolitis is terrible. I tried to get rid of it in time for the show, but it's grown rather attached to me. Like a fungus. Yuck. Oh. Uh, well, thanks for talking about your fungus live on telly. But listen, I can cheer you up. How about if I tell you about all the swaps on today's show? Sound good? Oh, that would be marvellous, Parley. But in a, in a short while, because I must tell you first about my new assistant. OK, first up, we've got Kamar from Birmingham, who's offering virtual tennis on the PS3. He wants any board game, except deal or no deal. I'm guessing he's already got it. Um, Owen from Liverpool is going to be here. He's offering a Game Boy Advance plus a Power Rangers game, and he wants any Wii game at all for that. So if you'd like to get involved with those swaps and you're interested, get in touch. You can call us on 0901 820 0200. Of course, cost 10p for BT Landline. Don't forget, I did say that wrong. I thought I did. 0901 820 0200. Of course, cost 10p for BT Landline. Other operators and mobiles may charge you a bit more, so please get permission. And you can go to the website, bbc.co.uk slash cbbc and click on Basil's Swap Shop. What do they do when they get there, Basil? Remember to leave your name, telephone number, and what you've got to swap. Now, Barney, I really must tell you about my new assistant. So, of course, we are back here in the studio with a brand new show. Some things are the same, like we are swapping swaps, that's the same thing, but some things are different, like our couch covered in kids, for example. <laughs> Hello! Very noisy, everybody's up for it, and um, that one on the end's a bit big for his age, isn't he? Um, we've also got the Guns Gallery over here. Take a look. This is my favourite addition to the studio this year. Lots of smiley faces. They are going to change, of course, in a bit, uh, because things are going to happen in, in there. He's quite, he's quite tall and hairy too, isn't he? Um, so what is a Guns Gallery, I hear you ask? What is a Guns Gallery? Yeah, thanks for that. Well, basically, for every successful swap swapped, one of our Guns Gallery goers will get covered in Gungy Green Goo. It's that beautiful. Sitting pretty in there this week are the third Seven Oaks Cub Scouts. Hello! <laughs> so, say hello. Let's start with you, number one. What's your name? Charlotte! Hi, Charlotte! Izzy! Word up, Izzy. Louie! Louie! Lauren! Lauren! Ollie! And Ollie. Hello, mate. And... And, um... Basil, we've got a six foot two hairy, slightly feminine Sasquatch in the studio. What's going on? Oh, very dead. That's no ordinary six foot two, slightly feminine Sasquatch. That is my new assistant, Ugly Yeti. <laughs> You'll never forget him, my Yeti. <laughs> yes, I've been trying to tell you. Now, just get on with the show before they notice. Why, I, Mr. Barney. Oh, you're so good looking in the flesh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Ugly Yeti. Um, so are you. <laughs> Here's what's coming up on the show. We've got some glorious got games. You recognise it, but you're thinking, hey, that looks different. I'll tell you more about that a bit later. We've also got some cracking comedy and some sweet celebrity swaps. Get a load of us going, Hollywood. This show is jam-packed, let me tell thee. We will be going back to Basil Sick then to see how he's doing a bit later, but now it's business time. Everybody, it's the first swap of the series. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so, Ugly Yeti, could you please introduce our first swapper? It's my great pleasure to introduce our first swapper, Charlotte from Midstone! <laughs> Charlotte would like to swap her major red button for a fountain pen. Isn't that right? Yeah. Right, you are. Thanks for that ugly, beautiful job. Thank you. Thank you. We'll, uh, we'll see you later. Okay. Cheers, bye. Uh, Charlotte, welcome to the show. You're the first swapper. How do you feel? Really good. Well, let's talk about your swap. You've got a majorette button. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so how did you get that? Well, four years ago, when I started majorettes, I bought this baton off of my troop leader. Okay, because you spin it in a tournament and competitions and stuff and all that kind of thing, and, and you don't want it anymore because? It's too small for me. How can it be too small? How do you know? 
Because if you go like that, you can tell whether it's too small because it should be as long as up to your fingertips. I didn't know that. I'm learning things this morning. Did you know that? Isn't that cool? And you'd like a fountain pen, yes? Yeah. Now, will a fountain pen look as good as a baton when you twirl in it? No. You don't want it for that, <laughs> though, you want to write with it. OK, well, listen, I've got some good news for you and some bad news, OK? The good news is we've had three offers for your swap. The bad news is you can only choose one of them, Charlotte. So, I know. How are you going to choose that one swap, Charlotte? How are you going to do it? What are you going to do? I'll tell you how you're going to do it. Have you got your business head on? Charlotte, it's time for you to step into the fox's den. Of course, we need a fox for this. Cheers. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> OK, you need your notepad as well to make some notes here, Charlotte. These three callers will now be on the line, and they're now going to describe to you their fountain pen. You've got to write down what it is you like about them, and then we'll decide which one we want. Is that a deal? OK. Yeah. Shannon, are you there? Uh-huh. Good morning, Shannon. Um, Good morning. Uh, say hi to Charlotte for me. Hi, Charlotte. Hello. That's good. Get in there first. Make a nice relationship. It might work well for her. Shannon, I would like you now to tell me why Charlotte should invest in your fountain pen. Okay. You should invest in my swap today because I have a brand new shiny silver fountain pen and free ink refill that comes with a silver metal box to keep them all together so you don't lose them. That's a very nice pitch box to keep it in. Okay. Amber, are you there? Hi, Barney. Hello, good morning, Amber. Um, Charlotte's listening. She would like you now to tell her why she should invest in your swap. Okay. You should invest in my swap today because my funky black pen has a gorgeous two-tone metallic pink cap and an unusual pink nib which writes extremely smoothly. There are five spare cartridges also included. Wow. Now that was a professional pitch. Okay, my two notes there were writes extremely smoothly, which I would expect from a fountain pen. Okay, Summer, are you there? Yeah. Hi, Summer. Welcome to the show. Um, why should Charlotte invest in your fountain pen? You should invest in my swap today because it is brand new, nice to write with, and it's got nice colours. Nice to write with, has nice colours. Okay, then, um, let's run through those. Shiny and silver and a box to keep it in, that was pen number one. Um, a funky black pen that writes extremely smoothly was number two, and nice to write with and some nice colours was number three. I'd like you now to tell me whether you are in or out for these swaps, Charlotte. Okay, bear in mind, you don't have to swap with any of them, but I'd like to find out what it is you would like to keep, if you would. The first one, are you in or are you out? I'm out. You're out. Fountain pen number two, are you in? Are you out? Out. Which leaves us with summers. Bear in mind, you don't have to choose one if you don't like it. This is nice to write with, and it has nice colours. <laughs> are you in? Or are you out? In. She's in! Congratulations, Summer. Congratulations. Uh, that means you, of course, have now got uh, your lovely funky major at baton. And Charlotte, you've got your nice fountain pen. Now, to make it official, we have to get somebody in the guns gallery nice and gooey. Charlotte, are you ready for this? Okay, if you'd like to take your position over by the button, please. Who is it going to be? Everyone looks slightly nervous. I wonder who it could be. Press the button in three. So, Louis, you're all gooey. How are you feeling, mate? Um, not good. Good, that's what I like to hear. It's nice and cold, too. It's been in the fridge all night. Now, Charlotte, because you are such a great swapper and such a great gunger, you can go away with your very own limited edition Basil's Swap Shop t-shirt if you can say what's on it. I won't swap this swap shop top want what? I got when I swapped a swap on ba Basil Swap Shop. Oh, well done, Charlotte. Congratulations, that's yours. Oh, oh, I am sorry about that. Um, I'm sorry, I'm still slightly embarrassing. Uh, it's, well, come on, I haven't had any breakfast this morning. I'm feeling a bit... Oh, good. Um, I, I'm sorry, I really don't know what I should... Here, Mr Barney, you want to get down to that cafeteria for some scram? Well, I would do. It's just that I have a sort of a... kind of an irrational fear of, of canteens. Really? Yeah. Why? Well, it's the dinner ladies. You just can't trust them. Dinner, 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 ladies. Dinner ladies. Spaghetti. 
Tomatoes. Let's all sing the spaghetti tomatoes song. Spaghetti, tomatoes, carrots. It's a rubbish song if you ask me. Tomato. Nice. Next up. Hello. There's a bit of spaghetti and there's a bread roll. There you go. Yes. Have you got any desserts left? But what does it look like? Um, a, perhaps a yogurt then, a strawberry yogurt. Oh, I don't eat. Um, how about a nice mousse? A mousse? Yeah, a mousse. Did you say mousse? Yes, a mousse. He wants a mousse. I doubt we'll have any of them. Uh, we might have one left in the fridge. Well, can you check, please? Mm. Yes, we've got one moose left in the fridge. I'll oh, have that then, please. <laughs> it's the big one. Ah, really peckish. Please, just give me the moose. OK, customer's always right. <laughs> Come on. Steady, well, steady, well, that's it. Well, Kate, steady. All right. Oh, I've got moose in here. Ah, it's bigger than you, Billy. Uh, if I could swap something, I'd swap Lucy here for an oversized cardboard cutout of myself. If I could swap anything, I would swap this bangle for a solid gold one. Right, if I could swap something, I reckon I'd swap this pen, yeah? For like a car, yeah. It is kind of one of those things that you could ask at a party and say, if you could swap anything in the whole world, what would you swap? And you'd probably get some quite weird things back. If I could swap anything in the world, I would swap all of the hair on my body for a very small moustache, and I would keep it here in this safe. Do you know what? Sometimes, because of the magic of Swap Shop, your swaps can come true. Look at this. Not very sticky. Now, that was my way of showing you Tilly's safe. Look at it, everybody. Isn't this the most hardcore safe you've ever seen in your life? This is, this keeps, you can keep anything in this. It's like national secret safe. Tilly, are you there? Yeah. Tilly, hiya. Hello. Um, let's talk about your safe. I've seen these in hotels. <laughs> um, did you have something very important to keep in it? Well, my room was always such a mess that I always thought I'd lose all my special stuff, so I used to put them in there so no one else could get them. Was it a small room that you had? How much stuff could you keep in here? <laughs> Well, I used to keep all, like, my keys and money and things like that so no one else could find them. Fair enough. And only you know the code, of course, which is important. Um, well, you want to swap this for something, and you have swapped this for something by the magic of Swap Shop, and Anna's on the line. Hi, Anna. Hello. You've swapped your guitar for Tilly's safe, yes? Yeah. I'm not too sure how much of a tune you're going to get out of that unless you blow really hard into it. It's, you're obviously not buying it for the same purposes, uh, swapping it for the same purposes. What are you going to keep in the safe when you get it, Anna? Um, money, yes. Yeah. Stuff like that. Okay, and do you have any tips for Tilly, maybe on, on playing the guitar? Because you're the expert, aren't you? Well, um, in the cult, my guitar just in the cult, and kind of like gets it, needs to tune it a lot sometimes, and it's cold. Okay, so it's, it's very important to spend a lot of time practicing the guitar first, isn't it? Any particular song that you learnt first that you think might be worth Tilly checking out? Uh, no. No. Maybe, maybe that's just down to Tilly and her own musical tastes. I understand. Well, um, the, swap, the swap's done then, isn't it? It's here, it's, it's official, so. Um, are we happy with that, everybody? Should we make it official by cheering and grunting? All right, then. So, I get to do this bit, which I'm quite happy about. Now, I wonder who it will be. Could it be you, Charlotte? You look nervous. Isabel, is it you? We're about to find out. In three, two, two one. <laughs> oh, yes. Ah, oh, the look of shock. How you feeling, Izzy? <laughs> Good, you look great. Thank you very much to Tilly and Anna. Thank you for hanging around this morning. In fact, let's see who else is hanging around, quite literally. Home with the vampire. What are you doing? I'm practicing. I've been signing autographs with blood. Your blood. <laughs> yeah. I've become so popular, I've started my own fang club. Fang club? 
Boom! Boom! <laughs> Patience, my furry friend. That was not the joke. There is one more joke to come. Bigger and better. Whoa! I can't wait! <laughs> so, how do people join your fag club? Ah, it's very easy. They send their name, their address, and their blood group! <laughs> <laughs> Get this man his own show! <laughs> but not this one. <laughs> Home with the vampire. Okay, hands up if you love the game Dunk Bets. Yay! Hands up if you love the very talented George Sampson. Yay! Hands up if you knew that George Sampson was the first world megastar to take part in the infamous Dunk Bets game right here in Basel Swap Shop. You didn't know that, did you? It's true. Look. George, it's all down to you, mate. Give us a bit of a flex on those muscles. We've got to use those pretty wisely in this game. Don't push too hard or you will end up in the drink, Rosie. OK, Basil, we're set to go. That was a very controlled push there from George. I think he's a little nervous about pushing this too hard, which means he hasn't pushed it hard enough. We're definitely in the minus zone. I don't even think we're going to reach zero on this, although we might just tip into it. Oh, it takes skill. Oh, dear, the bees might have been stung by that one. It's zero points for the bees. Can you believe it? The George Sampson on the Dunk Beds game. He's gone from zero points to world domination in less than a year. Not a bad career path, that is it. So I think it's time to dunk again, like George did last summer. You loved it so much, it's back. Only this time it's bigger, it's better, and it's twice the splash. It's Dunk Beds, Dunk Harder. Now this time the stakes are higher, quite literally. Each team will have two attempts at this game. The first person will be on the bottom doing the pushing and the second person will be on the top doing the chilly. Now, the idea of the game is to push the bed down the track and into the scoring zone. It sounds quite easy, but things can go wrong. If the push is too weak, the bed will end up in the minus zone. If the push is too hard, the bed will come flying down the track past the minus zone, well past the zero. It will fly past all the big points. It will hit the very end of the track and the person on top will get slam dunked into the big pool of Gunji Green Goo, leaving the team with zero points. So it'll be a dream come true and into round two for the top two teams with those scores. But the team with the lowest amount of points, it'll be nighty night and bye bye. So without further ado, let's meet the team. Alex, Jane. Kari and Ella. Toby and Kane. Okay, Toby, tell everyone how you're feeling using just a noise. <laughs> there you go. All right, Kane. Well, I'm very sorry about that. We're having some problems with CBBC this morning. We'll get you back to them just as soon as we can. Alice, you're the one doing the pushing. Don't forget you've got zero points to beat. You can't afford to give a weak push because that'll put you in the minus zone. Are you ready? You're going on the pier to push, Alice. Three, two, one. 
push. That was a very, very good push, very solid. Might be a bit too much, but well into the scoring zone. In fact, experience would tell me this is far too heavy. We all know that's zero points, but let's take a look at a replay first. I love this bit. Tiger James goes paws down and roars into the gunge. OK, over to Frosty and Ugly Yeti for the official score. Ah, oh, lovely work. So the zebras have scored zero, the tigers have scored zero. Can the bees go away with all the honey? No points. Let's find out. Happy as a bee, but not for long if she goes into the gungy green goo. Ella, tell me how you're feeling using just your hands. <laughs> Very nice. Now, Carrie, you're doing the pushing. Yeah. Do you think you're going to be best friends after this if you push her into the gunk? Nope, she's going to kill me at school. Wicked. All right, then. Well, you're going to go on the P of the push. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, push. That was a very solid push, but a bit of a slip there might have helped it not go as fast as it could have done had she caught it with both feet. Well into the scoring zone. I think we're quite happy here. Very nice. It's settled at 50 points, but let's get the official score with Frosty and the Ugly Yeti. Very well done. F -f -f 50. So it's been one push each for all three teams. Let's take a quick look and see how they're doing so far. The Zebras have got zero points. The Tigers have also got zero points. But in the lead at the moment are the Bees with 50 points. That, of course, can all change in round two. Here we go. Boom, boom. OK, it's still very much anyone's game. It's all to play for. And in this round, it's double points. Trez exciting. As you can see, the Zebras have crossed over. Toby's now on the bottom. Kane's on the top. You're going on the P of the push, Toby. Three, two, one, push. Points. Uh, let's go over to Frosty and Ugly Yeti and see what that does to the scores. Double points, but double minus. So, have the Zebras done enough? Well, it's time for the Tigers to have their turn. Boom, boom. Serious face, smiley face. Serious face, smiley face. Someone's confident, you're going on the P of the push. Three, two, one, push. Go on, James. Lovely push. That is just the right weight. That's either going to go or it's just going to fall short. You're well past it. Yeah, you're into the scoring zone. We're into a good score there, 75. Of course, points are doubled. Let's go over to Frosty and Ugly Yeti to finalise those scores. Textbook scoring. So it's still very much to play for. Things are starting to get interesting. How will the bees fare? This is the push that could make all the difference. Don't forget, girls, you want to be bunk beds and not dunk beds. You're going on the P of the push. Three, two, one, push. Oh, that was a very soft touch from Ella there. How is that going to affect the scores? Oh, I think we've just settled in minus 50. Let's go over to Frosty and Ugly Yeti and confirm that score. Minus 100. So there we have it, but how does that affect the overall scores? Well, just for you at home, Here's how they look. So in last place, we have the Zebras with minus 100 points. Then just closely behind them, we've got the Bees with minus 50 points, but definitely going through to the next round. And the victors of Dunk Beds Dunk Harder, it's the Tigers with 150 points. Unlucky Zebras. That means, unfortunately, the end of the road is here for you too. But don't worry, look, you don't go away empty-handed. You go away with your Basil's bag for life. There's one each there. And uh, you probably don't know this, but Basil Brush has his own airline now called Airbrush, and he has his very own aeroplanes, which are going to take you away. <laughs> Round of applause for the Zebras, everybody. Well done, guys. See you again. And there you have it. Aeroplanes. Does it get much better than this? See you later, guys. OK, so it's time to get you lot out of bed and get ready for round two. Come on, then. Off we go. Get yourselves ready. Wash your hands, brush your teeth, all that stuff. We'll see you in a bit. If I could swap anything, I'd swap my garden shed for a helicopter. If I could swap anything, I'd swap my hair straighteners for a fondue set. Preferably a neat one. Boom, boom! It's all going here in the studio. Firstly, a quick apology if you're losing picture and sound today. What did I tell you about the Christmas cold? Even the TVs are getting fevers and blacking out. But we are here now, we're back. And do you know what? Wouldn't it be cool if one of those people in, in dunk meds there actually becomes a star like George Sampson has in the future? <laughs> <laughs> right. 
Right, right. Uh, well, for every successful swap that is swapped, everybody, there are a few that don't actually get swapped. Oh. I know. Now, you can swap here on the show, but you can also swap online. And Toby from Monmouthshire, bless him, has been trying to swap online. And I am now appealing to you, the caring viewer, to help Toby out. He's got 150 Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and they come in a metal box. All he wants is a battery-powered... <laughs> A battery powered, ooh. <laughs> All he wants is a battery powered uh, lightsaber. So if you can help him out, get online, have a look. Toby needs you. He needs oh, you right now. Oh, oh, Mr. Barney, do you know if there's any other toilets around here? Well, what's wrong with the usual ones? There's somebody in them. Oh. We'll wait till they've finished. <laughs> no, no, you don't understand. There's somebody in them. Yeah, I know what you mean. You've got to hold on to it and then when no, they finish. Oh, Mr. Barney, you don't understand. There's somebody in the toilets. <laughs> It's toilet humor. Oui, 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 oui. I see. Why did the toilet paper roll down the hill? I don't know. Why did the toilet paper roll down the hill? Because he wanted to get to the bottom. <laughs> bum, bum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It's enough to drive you around the U bend. <laughs> okay, who's ready for the next swap? Yay! I'm glad you said that, you're going to like this, because it would appear the world of swapping isn't just affecting the normal people, that's you and me by the way, it's also reaching celebrity status. We are being sent celebrity swaps. We have had to turn a few down, I mean for example, J-Lo, we, we really don't, don't want your pants. Thanks, but maybe not. And, and Katy Perry, yeah, we, we, we really... Whoa. <laughs> Smooth. Oh. Casey, we, we really don't want your chapstick because we know where it's been and so does the girl you've kissed. And also, David Tennant, yes, you're a fabulous actor, but do we really want a broken sonic screwdriver, I ask thee? No, we don't. We want cool swaps from celebrities, like this one. Hi, I'm Robert Panson. I play Edward in Twilight, uh, and I'm going to swap a signed copy of Twilight, uh, which I signed and Stephanie Meyer signed for a... Uh, Paramore album because they're on the soundtrack and they're really amazing. So there you have it, there you have it. Basil Swap Shop has officially gone Hollywood. Robert Panson's book here, here it is, it's Twilight. All he would like in return for this is a Paramore CD. To make it a little more appetising, this is also signed by him and the author. Get in touch, you can give us a call 0901 802 0200. Course cost 10p from a BT landline. Other operators and mobiles may charge you a bit more, so please get permission. And you, if you want to go to the website, you can do as well, bbc.co.uk slash cbbc and click on Basil Swap Shop. Once you're there, leave your name, your number and what you've got to swap. I'm missing him. I'm sorry I'm trying, but I really am. I'm missing him. Shall we see how he's doing? Yeah! Basil, are you there, mate? Oh, I'm still here, Mr. Barney. I can't move very far. I've been watching the show, and I have to say, I can't believe even Robert Patterson has got in on the old swapping act. Marvellous. Well done, Mr. Barney. Now, listen, I've been very busy since I last saw you, and I've become rather big in the wrestling world. And here's the proof. Please, everybody, take your ringside seat for... <coughs> Barney, could you do the voice for me? Of course I will, mate. It's time for Brush versus Brush! Brush v. Brush! Back to! In the orange corner! Hey, oh, Basil yeah. the Thank you, fighter! Thank you. From the washing up ball, it's washing up. Keep it a clean fight. Washing up brush lays his signature move, the severe squeaker. Another quick best. Oh, thank you. Happy 
Hazel Brush comes in with his signature move. The ain't no stain in my game, Groucher. <laughs> You'll never brush off the brush. Hazel <laughs> Brush wins and he's still the undisputed champion of the brush world. See you next time on Brush v. Brush. Right now. Energy, oh, it really, really makes me tired. Oh, oh. Nobody messes with my mate. Right then, it's time for another swap, everybody. Yeah. Come on, are you there? Yeah. Come on, hi, welcome to the show, mate. So today, let's talk about your swap. You're offering a Virtua tennis game and a PS3, yes? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you would like what in return? Um. A board game. Any board game, but you didn't want deal or no deal. Now, what's the deal with that? We'd like to know. We're a bit of a gossipy crew. Is this because you've had a running with Noel Edmonds or what? I don't play that much with it. Okay, fine. That's, that's a good answer. We've had three options for you today. Three people have sent some stuff for you. Um, the Game of Life and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire has been sent in by Stephen. It has been offered by Stephen. Um, so, that, so I think that's two, isn't it? Is that two games? Um, Disney Monopo Monopoly. He actually Monop says Monopoly. Uh, that's from Sammy from London. And the X Factor board game from Terry. Um, so uh, you can make your decision. You don't have to swap if you don't want to, but if you do want to, here's your drum roll. Come on. You are live on Basil Swap Shop. Which of those swaps would you like? Which one do you want, Come on. Uh, Monopoly. Monopoly. It's a swap, everybody. Brilliant. Congratulations, mate. That's on its way to you. Uh, of course, that means we have to gunge somebody in our gunge gallery. Who could it be? Who could it be? Could it be you? Don't know. Could it be you? Smiley face Lauren. Showbiz darlings. Okay, everybody, in three, two, one, go! Oh, look at that. Number one covered in gunge. How are you feeling in there? Slimy. Slimy, you look great though. Do you know what? All this gunging is quite hard work, really, isn't it? I kind of, I kind of hope at this point we can have like a little tea break. I can sit down and have a cup. I've made it just for you, the way you like it. Oh. Stirred anti-clockwise, Mr. You stirred my tea anti-clockwise, yeah, that's the way I like it. Oh. You've made me a cup of tea. Oh, she's good to me, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. That's all right. What's this brown floaty thing? <laughs> oh. I'm invited to Snake to Nose with Basil and Barney. So I'm thinking of opening a hairdresser's. Oh, yeah? Oh. Why is that, then? So then I could get my hair cut by myself and not pee for it. It's about free haircuts for life, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. I like your thinking. Hmm. Need to think of a good name, though. Curl up and die. Bit harsh, mate. What did I say to you then? No, no, no. That, that's the name for the hairdressers. Curl up and die. It's a name for your hairdresser. Oh right, right, that's the right. The name of it. That's a very good name, actually. I get it. Curl yeah, up right. And die. Right. Yeah. yeah. Sheer madness. It's not the worst idea in the world. People always need haircuts, you know. No, that's an, that's another name. Sheer well, madness. Like curl up and die is a name, and sheer madness. The name, it's, it's an idea for a name that I'm giving you. I'm, I'm giving you names. Right. For the hairdressers. It's yeah, good. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. Yeah. What about bobs and robbers? <laughs> yeah. Fringe benefits and cut. <laughs> <laughs> now we're cooking. Yeah. Cut loose. Uh -huh. From here to eternity. Like it. Alibaba. <laughs> Brush strokes. Split ends. Cut and dry. Close shave. Cutting remarks. Yeah. Cutting corners. Uh, headmasters. Here today. Gone tomorrow. Ah, yeah. That's a good one, that. Alias Snip and Coombs. Right, yeah, that's, that's a good one. <sighs> Tired me out, all those names. Yeah, me too. Hmm. I, I always preferred butchers to hairdressers. I love sausages. Yeah, me too. You know what? You know, I, 
actually, I actually really do like sausages because you can do that sausage smile with them, can't you? It's kind of funny if you hold it away from you. It looks like you've got a sausage smile, you know, because it's a, it's a sausage, because yeah. it's, I'm guessing you're losing interest in my sausage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, don't forget, if you want to get in touch for Robert Pattinson's book, it is the celebrity swap of the day. Do you want to take that sausage? Thank you. Uh, you've only got six minutes. Please don't call after six minutes if you want to swap, because if you do, you might still be charged. Who's ready for some more games? Yeah! I'm glad you said that. It's round two. Uh, Barney, mm. you, you got a little summer on your face. All right. No, no, up a bit, down a bit, left a bit, right a bit. Yeah, yeah, you got it. Ah, oh, brilliant, thanks. So you might be wondering where all these beautiful cakes have come from. Aye, I was. Have you heard of the Sugar Plum Fairy? Aye, I have. She wasn't available, so we got a sister, the Sugar Bum Fairy. <laughs> you said bum! I know! And we've got ourselves a game. OK, here we go. It's round two, and it's time to give our two teams that are left a slice of the action. Now, you've heard of the three little pigs and how they use their chinny ching chins. Well, our little fairies here use their body body bots, and they use them to ice these cakes. It's a very emotional game, of course. Even the cakes are in tears. OK, let's demonstrate how the game works. In you come, ugly yeti. Look at that, beautiful. What a fairy costume she's got on. Oh, yes, the boys are loving it. Right then, this is how it works. You're going to start off in the mixing bowl that's got icing in it. You take a sit. You have a spin to make sure lots is on there. <laughs> then you get up, doing your best fairy impression. Lots of valley poses, please. Find your way over to your cake and sit on it to ice it with your body bod bot. Once that's done, very gracefully, you head back to your mixing bowl, do the same again, and then head down the course till you've finished all three of your cakes. Then you head back, tag your teammate, and then they go down and do exactly the same thing. The team who has iced all six of their cakes in the fastest time will go through to the next round. Are all of your Botty Bot Bots at the ready? Yeah! Okay, here we go. Don't forget, only one team can go through to the final round. This is a race. Three, two, one, go! Okay, go, go! Nice bit of body wiggling. Don't forget the ballet poses, girls. Good start. Two more kicks to go. It's level pegging so far. Just got into the lead. Lovely ballet moves, a great body wiggle, and a great bit of icing. Okay, it's time to run over and tag your teammates and swap over. This is a very, very tight race. Make sure those mixing bowls stay nice and straight. Very good. Nice body wiggling there. Yeah. Quick, quick spin. As soon as that mixing bowl starts, jump off. Don't forget the ballet pose. You're trying to be fairies when you come down the course. Fairy, fairy, that's it. Fairy Ella, beautiful. Okay, a bit of icing. This is a very, very close game. One more cake to go each. One more cake to go. James, hold on, it's very slippy. So this is it, this is it, it's the last cake. Quick, quick. And don't forget the first person to sit down again. James, go, leg it, leg it. James is actually cake, is he going to make it back in time? Oh. James, you got to sit down, you got to sit down, you got to sit down. Oh. 
Well, that has got to be some of the best body wiggling icing I've ever seen. Let's take a look at that again. There were spills, thrills, and body bots. But the bees buzzed in for an exceedingly close victory. Honey heroes. So, as we saw in that lovely action replay, the team who managed to ice all of their cakes in the fastest time were... The bees. Well done, the bees. You've won, which means, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to our tigers. But you don't go empty-handed. Look, you've got yourself your very own Basil's bag for life. Yeah, check it out. That's yours. There you go, James. And Alice, that's yours too. Don't get too much blue icing on it. And of course, you also get your luxury ride in our brushish airways, aeroplanes. Here you come, guys. Well done, tigers. It's been a pleasure. Safe journey home. Don't eat the in-flight nuts. They might be off. See you later. Ta-ra. Okay, so that now means that you bees are going through to the final round. And let me tell you something. It is out of this world. And you can find out how the bees do it a bit later. I have to tell you now, the phone lines are now closed. Please do not call, because if you do, your details may not count and you may still be charged. Right, then I feel the need for another swap, everybody. How are you feeling about that? Everybody, let's be upstanding for our next swapper. Can I present to you with all the love in my heart, <laughs> Owen from Liverpool! <laughs> Owen! It's true! Owen wants to swap his Game Boy Advance and Power Rangers game for any very Wii game. I, I think it's um, I think the, the Wii game is the name of it. It's not a small game, yes, like, like no, we say it's a, a Wii. It's a Wii game. <laughs> okay, Uglietta, isn't she beautiful, everyone? Yeah. Thank you so much for your help. Cheers. Um, yeah, goodbye. Thank you for that. Owen, I thought you really were that big and hairy, that silhouette then for a second. <laughs> right, then let's talk about your swap. Welcome to the show, of course. Um, you are swapping what and why? I'm swapping my Game Boy and the game because I don't really play on it that much. Okay, that's because oh. you've got your new games console, yes. that's why you want to swap. Okay, now you wanted any game for yeah. the Wii, yeah? Any game at all? Do you have one that you're kind of hoping will get offered? Uh, the certain one I really want is Sonic Unleashed. Sonic Unleashed? Yes. Okay, you'd really like that one if it was offered. Okay, well, um, we have four offers here for you. Okay, now they were randomly selected. Okay. Um, I can tell you that we've got... Um, do you know what? I'm not going to tell you the first one. I'm going to go in a different order. Um, we've got Ben 10, Protector of the Earth from Dexy. Oh, yeah. Monster Trucks. Monster Trucks, Monster yeah. Trucks. Yeah. Um, that's from Joshua. <laughs> and Jenga from Courtney. The first one, which is from Oliver from Wales, is Sonic Kings. Ooh. So you got a little bit going on there, a bit of Sonic action. So, Owen, now you agreed that to have these selected randomly, yes? Yes. And you've agreed to choose one of these swaps using a very special process. It's a very cool game, and it's called... The Random Mania. Oh. Owen, follow me over there. Now, basically, what we've done is we've got some pictures of those swaps that I just described to you, and we've yeah. put the pictures in these balloons, OK? Now, you, of course, okay. don't know which picture is in which balloon. So the idea you now, to make it totally random, is for you to pop one of those balloons, and whatever is in there will be your swap. Are you happy with that? Yeah. OK, which balloon are you going to choose, Owen? Two! <laughs> it's his choice. Can I ask? Hang on, can I ask? Are you going to go for the Sonic one? Do you hope it's the Sonic game? Yeah, I'm going to okay. hope it's the Sonic game. Which balloon are you going so, for, mate? This one. That one there. Are you sure? Wouldn't have been my first choice. Owen, there's your pin. When you're ready, pop that balloon. Go for it. Okay, is that the picture? It is. You've got Jenga for the Wii from Courtney. It's not the Sonic one, but is that okay with you? Yeah. Lovely. Okay, to commemorate this momentous occasion, you also get yourself a limited edition Basil's Swap Shop t-shirt. But Owen, you only get it if you can say what is on it. Ready? Yeah. Go. I want to swap this swap top. What? Start again, start again, start again, start again. Okay. I want to swap this swap shop top. What? What I got when I swapped that swap on Basil's swap shop. Well done. well done, mate. Very, very good. OK, cool. There you go. Congratulations. Now, Thank of course, you. we need to gunge one of our gallery goers. So, Owen, over to the button you go. Who could it be? We don't know. Three, two, one, go! Yay! There we go. Beautiful stuff.
stuff. Owen, congratulations. Oliver, Ollie, how you feeling, mate? Ollie, you all right? Good stuff. Nice one. Owen, take a seat, mate. You're all done. Thank you very much. Does anyone know if the loo's available? Do you know, Owen? Pardon? They're still in there. Are you kidding? It's toilet humor. Wee, 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 wee. I'm terribly constipated. Yesterday, I sat in the bathroom for hours. Oh, are you taking anything for it? Yes, I normally take a book. Space is full of like galaxies, yeah. yeah. And, and, and you know, you know how it's also full of like planets that are yet to be discovered, yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not going to believe this, right? Basil Brush was looking through his kaleidoscope last week. He held it up to the light and he saw something move. He's discovered a new planet. No way! Did you know that? It's true. No. Prepare to believe the unbelievable. Ooh. We're about to bravely go where no man has gone before. No, I'm not talking about Slough. I'm talking about a very exciting place. A place that will have you talking, whoops, for the next five years. Oh yes, I'm talking about Planet Yeti. Now you may have thought that Yetis come from Tibet. They don't come from Tibet. They don't even come from this planet. No, Yetis come from outer space. And here is another lesser known fact. Yetis are also obsessed with geometry and hedges. Hence, the planet we're about to land on is covered in mazes. Take a look, see. Whoa. This is the place where our final team, the bees, can go away with some galactic prizes. The aim of the game is to travel through the maze looking for blue yeti eggs that are hidden in cocoons around the maze. But they need to search hard because not all the cocoons contain eggs. For each blue egg they find, they win a prize. There is also a star prize up for grabs. To win it, they must first find Ugly Yeti's sister. She's called Sweaty Yeti. Wake her and take her lucky star. The only way the team can claim the star prize is to unlock the maze hatch and escape. And the only way to unlock the hatch is to insert the three blue Yeti eggs into its lock. However, entering the maze comes at a price. Once the team have collected their third blue Yeti egg, Ugly Yeti will be unleashed and will try to stop them from escaping with their prizes. Don't make me stressy by making my maze messy. Oh, <laughs> oh dear, but that's not all. If the team discovers a red egg at any time, there will then be ten seconds before Ugly Yeti is unleashed. If I see red, you better be well ahead! Oh, oh dear. And if they wake Sweaty Yeti and take her star, they will also unleash, you guessed it, Ugly Yeti. Don't wake up our Sweaty, cos I'm coming after you with me Netty! Well, we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? And don't forget, if you are caught by Ugly Yeti before you manage to escape, it's bye-bye to one of your prizes. So be careful, you could lose the star prize. The moral of the game is egg it and leg it. OK, team, well, just to make things a bit harder, you're both going to have your legs tied together and one of you is blindfolded. Any strategy? Speed. Concentration. Now I'm going to tap Ella the way we're going to go. Cosmic. <laughs> All right, then, you ready for blast off? Three, two, one. Turn it, Ella, this way, this way. This way, this way, this way. That's right, Gary, make sure you talk to Ella. Tell her where you want to go. Right, break the cocoon. Put it apart. You got your first egg. We're going to pass it over so you can see what colour it is. You can see the girls here have got quite a cool system. They're using tapping for direction. So if Carol wants Ella to go right, she'll tap the right shoulder. It's a very cool system, but is it going to help them in the maze? Um, uh, down. No, this way, turn this way. In here. Left tap, turn left. It's a good system. Have they found another cocoon? Yes, they have. What colour is the egg? Want another empty egg. Don't forget, yeah. girls, you've got to find three blue to get out of the maze. You don't want to find a red one. We've got an egg. Can I open? Oh, it's got something in it, I think. Well, we found an egg. Nothing. What colour do we have? Nothing. No. You sure? You can have a look. 
System so far. Number four, she's got the cocoons now. letting them down. Open the egg. Empty! Empty, Jay! Right, left! Number eight! Girls, at this point, you have to keep going back to look for more cocoons. What the hell's that? You've got a blue one, okay. You may have missed one on the way back, Doctor. Yeah. Don't forget, girls, you have to find two more blue eggs. If you don't find two more blue eggs, you can't get out of the maze. It's empty. Alright, which way? Which way? Turning up here. Turn. 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 Come on, girls, you need two more eggs. Turn. Back. Back. Open. Can you see in there, Carrie? Can you help her out? You've got another blue one. Brilliant. Brilliant. Got yours. Got yours. One more blue. One more blue egg. You might not be going Forward. the right way. Don't forget, there backwards, might be an egg the other way. Backwards, backwards. You may have gone past one already, but don't forget this could get you into I trouble if you it. find a red one. Not the ugly Yeti not. will be on your case. Okay, we found a cocoon. Radio. Is there an egg in it? Pass no, you've already been in that one. Come on, this one here as well. Radio. Oh no, I don't want you to get in into it. That's it, good idea. Clear the obstacles out of the way, that way you can move around quicker. Pass, pass it. system works really well, you've got to keep it on. Okay, brilliant, brilliant, you've got another cocoon. Okay, what colour is the egg? You don't want a red one. Ella, what have you got? It's a red egg, it's a red egg, you've got ten seconds, ten seconds before Ugly Yeti is on your case. You still need a blue egg to get out of the maze, girls. Two, one, and Ugly Yeti is on his way. two blue eggs, but the third one, unfortunately, you just didn't manage to get, which means that you've only got two, but I think we should take a look at the action replay and see you two in action. It was so close. So the bees collected one blue egg and then managed to grab a second. But before they could grab that all-important third, they hit a red, sending ugly Yeti steaming in. They're now stuck between a Yeti with a Netty and a hard place. Game over. So near yet so far, girls. Unlucky. Now, listen, let's talk about the blue eggs that you've got there in that tray because the rules do state quite clearly that if you get caught by the ugly Yeti, my goodness, you are quite ugly, then you do lose one of those blue eggs. Now, each egg represents a prize. So it's up to you now to decide which egg you want to lose. Um, number one, please. Number one, you both agree on that? Yep. Okay, number one's going to go, which means you are left with this prize. In you come, aeroplanes. <laughs> Lovely. Look at that. Your very own MP3 player. How cool is that? And you can keep those lovely prizes in your Basil's bag for life. Congratulations. Well done, guys. A round of applause for the bees, everyone. Did they do well? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, just, just before you go, this, this will definitely put a smile on your face. Uh, what do you get if you cross an abominable snowman with an aeroplane? A jumbo yeti. No. No. Jumbo. No. Because no. it's a no. plane that is a... No. Right. Do you see what I mean, though? Do you see?
see what I mean? Who would have thought it? A planet of yetis. I mean, what's next? A planet with chocolate and nugget and caramel? Oh, no, that's Mars. <laughs> oh, good. Right, don't start laughing when I walk over here, will you? Right then, let's wrap up. Thank you. Let's wrap up the last swab. Of course, this is Twilight. This was donated, or up for a swap, because Robert Pattinson said he wanted to have a Paramore CD. Look at it, it's signed by the author and himself. Loads of people got in touch for this, but Danielle from Cumbria has offered a CD, Riot, by Paramore. So congratulations, Danielle. That's on its way to you. And your CD's going to a Hollywood legend. There's just one thing to do. I wonder who it could be, number four. I wonder who could be getting gunged, number four. I wonder if number four could be getting gunged. In three, two. So that's what we like. Do you know what? Well, that's it. That's like that's all we've got time for. It's the end of the show. I can't believe it. You know, but we haven't just been swapping here on the show. We have been swapping yeah, all week. Mr. Burney, Mr. Basil told me I had to give you this at this precise moment in the show. Okay, it's a letter. Dear Barney, instead of telling everyone about all the other swaps in a dull and boring droning moaning list all week, I would like you to read the swaps in the style of my choosing. This week, a horse racing commentator. <laughs> okay, okay, <clears throat> thank you. There's your microphone. Thank you. And welcome to the morning race at Swap Shop. Today's favourite is Megan from Nottingham, who swapped her karaoke machine with Emma from North East Wales McFly CDs. Coming in at five to one. The horses and riders have left the paddocks and they're under starters' orders. And they're off. Liam from Leicester swapped his robot for Leon from Liverpool's autograph of Ian Rush. Makes a strong start and takes the lead. Closely followed by Toby from Monmouthshire. Swapped his Yu-Gi-Oh cards from Kira from Lincolnshire's white lightsaber. Who is in the middle of the field and racing ahead? But who is that coming from behind? Passing them and getting in the lead just as they're approaching the finishing line. It's please may I have a pie in the face. <laughs> That's, um, that's, thank, thank you very much. Um, which just leaves me enough time to say thank you very much to all of our studio guests. Yeah. Well done, guys. And Basil, don't worry, by the way, I am going to be coming down to the hospital with some, um, with some lovely stuff to cheer you up. I hope that's okay, Basil. Oh, I can't wait to see you, Mr. Barney. You'll cheer my day up new in. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you next week. Ta-ta. Oh. I'm not kidding, he's dead. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to swap swaps this morning, don't worry, there's going to be ten more online right after the show. Ugly Yeti, come in, let's come and say goodbye. You know what, you've heard the song by Katy Perry, she kissed a girl and she liked it. You know what, I kissed a Yeti and I liked it. Come on, dressing room two. We'll see you next week. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.